If you've seen in previous lessons, this is the policy layout for UCS Director. And when we're talking about chargeback or showback, the cost models for the equipment are associated with the virtual data center. If you remember, the virtual data center is how we divide up resources and even apply multi-tenancy into the environment. So the costs of all the equipment, whether it's network, storage, compute, virtual, or cloud, is associated with the virtual data center and the resources that are inside that virtual data center. Now we take users and we put the users into groups for easy administration. We then assign budgets and resource limits to those groups. So as the users and groups consume resources out of the virtual data centers, they can see costs associated with that and tell whether or not they're over budget or over resource limits. The users then have access to different workflows or automation through catalogs, and catalogs contain the different workflows that invoke the different resources, which then cost the users and groups different amounts of money. Now when I say cost, this is all reporting information. And the costs that you come up with are on your own. So you assign costs to your different resources. There's no real guidance on that. The other thing to remember is that this is, as I mentioned, reporting. So this is information that you can use to plan budgets with, or even go back and try to bill other departments for, or just to show resource utilization. Nobody is actually swiping a credit card in order to get these resources. You just control how they have access to these resources through the different policies that you put in place inside of UCS Director. So UCS Director has the ability to provide fixed costs, one-time costs, allocation of costs, usage costs, and a combination of all of those based on your organizational requirements. You also create templates and can assign cost models to different devices and then reuse those templates over and over again. There's also reporting built into UCS Director that you can generate various summary and comparison reports based on the costs and usage of your infrastructure. And finally, you have a dashboard to monitor and analyze your costs in your environment in real time. Let's take a look at the GUI and see where we configure some of these things. I've logged into the UCS Director GUI as an administrator. And as an administrator, we can configure the different policies that are associated with the virtual data centers. So if I go into Policies, and then go into Virtual Hypervisor Policies, and then Service Delivery, I will see that it's going to open up a multi-tabbed environment. One of those tabs along the top is the cost model. If I click on the cost model, I can create a number of different cost models if I want to, or I can modify the existing cost model. If I double click on this, it opens the cost model and I can choose how I'd like to assess costs in my environment based on this virtual data center. Here you can see I have the ability to pick whether I want the duration of the cost to be hourly, daily, weekly, monthly, or yearly. And then I can assign one-time costs or reoccurring costs per US dollar based on, in this case, every hour. So in this example, an active VM costs 50 cents an hour, and so on and so forth. And these can be changed as you see fit for your environment. You can also see that I have different cost models for different environments. I have the regular default cost model. I have a public cloud cost model. I have a storage cost model by tier of storage. So obviously flash is going to be more expensive than spinning disk. And then I even have a tag based cost model where I can apply costs based on the tags that I assign. If I go into policies and then virtual hypervisor policies and virtual data centers, I can then click on one of my virtual data centers and see where I'm assigning the costs. As you can see, this is where I pick the cost model and where I can define which template I'm going to use. In this case, I'm using the default cost model. I can now go into administration, into my users and groups. I can then highlight the group that I would like to enforce my budget policy for. And 
enable budget watch and now I can go into my organization and under summary and define a budget for that group for instance this user has a ten thousand dollar per month budget finally I can go to chargeback and see some of the costs associated with my groups if I dig into a group in particular I can then see the costs for the active versus inactive virtual machines as well as any other costs that are associated I can also see for instance if I'm going over budget in this case the red line shows my budget is two thousand dollars and I've gone over that as you can see this is a great tool with just a ton of information on how you use your resources inside of your data center and you can see across the board you can see servers and storage and virtualization and network and you can see in real time what these devices are costing you you can see the costs associated with projects you can show back that cost to other departments and you can track those costs and have governance around those costs as end users are spinning up or spinning down resources or your own IT department is providing IT as a service to your internal users whichever you choose the capabilities are in the platform for you to turn on whenever you want to please join me for the next lesson 12.5 examining UCS director service offerings